Wait, wait, do you have more than seven there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have more than seven. <laughs> really? No. You asked me to. No, that, that, that was a, a, a mistake. Oh yeah, you're supposed to get the little bit. Really? Really? I'm really? I'm that. Really? You didn't mean words. Oh my God. You are in trouble. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do to me, Papa? What do you want to do to you? Oh my God, this is like a love. It's so stupid. That was crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, with the way Frida is feeding me right now, I just wish that I'm still very much attractive to get my own wife. No, come on, you know Frida about that. We will feed anyone silly. And the bad part is, she constantly reminds me to get married. Mm. Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh -uh. Are you not long overdue? Your mates are already polygamists. <laughs> How can you say that, girl? Yeah? Baby, come on. The time you spend teasing your friend, you should spend it eating my food. Exactly. Besides, if he wants to get married, I'm sure he will when he finds the right woman. When wow. I find the perfect woman. Mm -hmm. Right, really? Then in that case, you have to wait for forever because you see, DY here will not get married until he finds Mongo Park. Look, don't mind your husband. Left to him, you'd rather remain single as against getting a good woman like you. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me. So, what are you even waiting for? There are women out there, good women. Just take a pick. You know? It's not like you're perfect yourself. So why are you looking for a perfect woman when you're not? Guys, yeah, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm way better than you. Uh, D.Y., mm -hmm. I really like you. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I love you. But don't you ever say that. You see this man right here? He's the most wonderful man on earth. Thank you, baby. Yeah, you see, wanted to get married, right? <laughs> so at least some woman can at least fight and defend me. Mm -hmm. In public, too. You know. And hey, this is really good. Of course it yes. is. Mm. And why is that? Bloody bachelor. <laughs> well, made by my wife. Really? Mm -hmm. Rub it in now. No wife now to cook for me. I understand. Yeah. Whatever, girl. Bloody bachelor. <laughs> See, I've never got into this level in this game before. It's really amazing. <laughs> nice. You know what? You should get it. You know, I'm even going to download I'm pregnant. it. I, I just confirmed. You know what? I don't want to listen to this. Okay? I don't want to listen to this. Because huh? last I checked, we had an agreement that no babies until two years in this marriage. I know, but... Just get rid of it. How can you ask me to... I bought the thing.
Doctor! 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 I mean, what are we going to do? There's nothing to do. She walked right in front of a moving vehicle. You don't understand it. If that young lady dies, nobody's going to hear her side of the story. Yeah, then let her die. Are you freaking kidding me? Let her die? Mizie, do you know the gravity of what has happened? I mean, how can you even wish another human being dead, regardless of what she has done, whether she jumped in front of her vehicle or not? Do you have a heart at all? Oh, really? Do I have yes. a heart? Yes! Wow! Wow! Huh? Are you being serious right now? Oh, lady, let's not put the blame on the stranger who walked right in front of a moving vehicle. Let's blame me. Oh, considering the fact that she could have died, okay, and that would in turn send me to jail. No, let's not bother about Maisie's well-being. Yes, worry about the stranger. Let's worry about... Are you being serious right now? I can't believe this is how you think. It's pointless. Having this conversation with you. Where is my bag? It's totally pointless. Tell me you're still upset about last night. You come. I don't want to be late for work. Work? I thought you and I are supposed to go to the hospital today. Don't go alone. I need to get ready for work. Okay, yes, uh, she's fine now. Uh, can be discharged tomorrow. Okay. The problem is she's uh, suffering from amnesia, a loss of memory, due to the head injury she suffered. So are you saying she's forgotten everything? She can't remember nothing, including her name? Yes, uh, I believe so. Uh, excuse me, doctor. Will she ever be able to regain her memory? She has to. Yes and no. Yes, because uh, a few people have been found to regain their memory after such a loss. No, because a, a large percentage never regain their memory uh, or ever. Okay, but what do you advise us to do? Because we don't know where she's from. We know nothing about her. Just calm down, honey. Let us let her get better first before we start having this conversation. No, but the earlier we do, the better. Can we discuss this at home? I think so. Doctor, what's the way forward? Just what I needed. A stranger hanging over my head. Baby, why are you sounding like this? We should be happy she survived. And be more concerned about how she's going to cope with this condition that you and I put her. What do you mean by how she's going to cope? I don't understand you. What we should concern ourselves with is where she's going to stay before our family is found. Stay? I mean, she can stay here. We have enough rooms in the house. Are you okay? Invite a total stranger into our home? Do you even listen to yourself before you, you, you utter these things you're saying? Maybe. Where else do you think she'll be able to recover quickly if not here? 
She needs to be around people that really care about her. And I think this place is perfect for her. Oh, really? Okay, you see, I have a better idea. We hand her to the police, they take care of things, and then they find the family. How about that? Great. We, we can get the police involved. But she will still have to stay here. Baby. I think this is the least we can do. We need to at least be responsible for her until she's able to find her feet and get back her memory. Please. I can imagine your condition. I can imagine how you must be feeling. I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. I, I, I feel better, to be honest. It's just the headaches. And I hope that, I mean, I believe that soon the memories will, will come calling. It'll be okay. Amen. I'm sure. Uh, the doctor told me about uh, you and your husband. Where is he? Uh, no, my husband is with the doctor. They're trying to sort out some stuff. I don't know if you'll be comfortable with coming to live with us at home. I mean, I, th I think you need an environment where it'll be easier for you to regain your memory. My home is, is that place. I, 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 I can't possibly ask. I mean, that's, that's asking for too much. No, it's not too much. I mean, I have four rooms in my house. I know you need an environment where you can get love and care and I'm willing to give it. Besides, you have to stay until the police are able to find out your family. Come and stay in my house, please. If you insist. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the, the clothes and it, the... It's okay, I'm happy if it's perfect. She cannot stay in my house, don't you get it? That lady's bad news. You talk as if you know her. What do you mean I talk as if I do her? Do I have to know her to know she's bad news? First she walks in front of my car, almost makes me a murderer. Now she's claiming she can't remember anything. Really? Becoming a liability? Mm. You see, that woman is going through something bad. She's in a lot of pain. See, nobody, nobody should go through life not knowing the identity or who they are. Try and understand. I do understand, but I need you to find another alternative. Okay. It's simple. You brought her here. So you are responsible for her. Is that all you're going to say? Yes. Welcome. It's my home. Now, you know, I'm a bit worried. I don't even know what to call you. I'm actually thinking what name would suit you. I really don't know. Hold on, Boba. Lola. Well, do you like the name? I, I think it's really cool. I don't mind it. Oh, okay. Lola, I, I, I don't know if you look. Oh, Lola is nice. <laughs> thank um, you. Please. Your home is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I, 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 I don't know if I've even been in a house like this before. Oh, come on. You never can tell. Maybe you're from a very rich home. <laughs> and you look really, really good. Um, please, let me show you around. Okay. Come on in. I'll help you carry this one. Uh, this is the guest room. Yes. Babe. Um, she settled in, and from the look on her face, it shows she really likes the place. Baby. I hope she gets her memory back soon. And I also want to thank you for at least finally agreeing to let her stay. Thank you so much. I can assure you, 
You've just made the worst decision in your life. I'm so sorry I backed in on you. That's really not nice. It's fine. Um, I got you these clothes and very soon it will not fit me anymore. I just figured that you will need them. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's all right. You sound like you're expecting. Um, yes, I am. Aww. <laughs> this is so nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. No, you thank you. I mean, letting the total stranger come into your home. Thank you. Lola, you are not a stranger. You are my responsibility. Do you understand? And until you find your people, this is your home. Just be good. And try them out, okay? okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How was your you. night? It was fine, thank you. Oh, great. Uh, please come join us. Thank you. Good morning. Hey, baby. Baby, where are you going? You've not finished your food. I lost my appetite. I... I'm so sorry. He's not usually like this. It's okay, I understand. How are you feeling this morning? Better. Do you Just... want something else to eat? Or... No. Are you okay with this? This is fine. Uh. You are so kind. Uh, thank you. Hello? Um, sweetie, are you home? Oh. Um, nothing really. I wanted you to help me send the file I forgot. Nah, it's fine. I'll just go home and pick it up myself, alright? Alright, dear. Kisses. Monsieur, you scared me. Oh, really? I thought nothing scares you anymore. I don't understand what you mean. Oh, stop pretending, okay? This doesn't work for me. I don't... Why... I pretend? I don't... I don't understand. Come off it! You may fool Frida easily, but you know that won't work for me, okay? Besides, we agreed that you won't sort after me physically. So what's all this? Wow. Wow, wow. It's nice to see that your memory is still intact. She means you'll be at you. No, just cut the crap and tell me what you are doing here. I'm asking you again. <sighs> she means you. I am here to see the life that you have embraced that made you forget that you had a family. You were supposed to fend for us, remember? 
You were supposed to bring the money for our daughter's surgery. But what did you do? You left us, abandoned us, forgot about us totally. No money, no calls. And to top it up, to add salt and pepper to this injury, you changed your life. What were you thinking? Hmm? You're invincible? You would never be found? Don't come of it. I did what I did for us. I did it so that I can achieve my goals without any form of suspicion. One a year and six months! Chimezie. One year and six months with a growing child, with a growing stomach. Really? Am I that stupid? Oh, she rubbed it in my face. She couldn't wait to express how happy you she that is. One, that wasn't done intentionally, okay? You know that. Look, that is not the point. Lola, you need to. If you don't want to ruin things as it is. Besides, I don't need you, okay? Oh. Oh. You are an evil man. You are so evil. Same thing I begged you not to do. The same thing I begged you not to do. Are you sick? Are you cold? Jimmy, <sighs> see. That Ada is gone. Now, what is that supposed to mean? What happened to our daughter? What? Your only me. Hey, my only child is dead because you will not keep to your promise. You didn't keep to your promise to her. Don't leave.
There is something I do not understand, Frida. You are both husband and wife, and you've been married for a while now. Frida, if you go ahead and have this abortion, this will be the fourth abortion since you got married. I mean, what's the essence of getting married in the first place if you do not have the intention of making babies? I know. That is why I have decided that I am not getting rid of this one. I am not terminating it. I mean, I need to have kids of my own. I don't want to start having children at old age. Exactly. It does feel good to see you fight for once in this charade you call a marriage. What is wrong with you? You know, my marriage is not that bad. My marriage is perfect. <laughs> my husband and I, yeah, we argue, but it's just normal couple's argument. I wish it was, my dear. I wish it was. I mean, look at you, Frida. A man comes into your life and succeeds in chasing everyone away. First, he doesn't want me to visit. Neither does he allow you visit mine. No friends, no family. Come on. There is something fishy going on, and I know it. You know, I actually thought that I could count on you for your support and... And just be there for me as a friend. But obviously, you just find a way of making me feel stupid every time I do it. <laughs> Is that the way the truth makes you feel? Well, I am your friend. And I will always tell you the truth. Even when it makes you feel somehow. <laughs> What do you want? I'm so sorry for coming late. Uh, I had a few things to talk sort about of the office. It's fine. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, you have something to drink already? Yeah. Yeah. Whew. So, um, what's the thing you really want to talk to me about? Please, you I need you to help me talk to Mizzy. I need you to please talk to him. Okay, about what? Ms. Z and I had an agreement that I wasn't going to get pregnant until two years after our wedding. Okay. I understand. Right. But as it is, I am pregnant. Hold on, hold on. Don't just say it fast. You're pregnant? Congratulations! Do I wish you was such a good news. Okay, well, what's Ms. Z saying about it? It's my fourth abortion. What? He wants me to get rid of it. That's the problem. I'm, I just don't understand. It's getting tiring. I'm not getting any younger. I know we agreed, but it just feels like it's not right for me to have kids at my old age. I won't really want to have this baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If Mezze really said what you just said he did, then he must be mad in his head. Why would he allow you to take away your precious gift? Besides, why do you let him to manipulate you like that? 
I love him. You love my black ass. Look, if, if, if you love him, you should love him in return. And if, of course, he does love you, then he won't say, you know, tell you to do all of this. Okay, that's why. I just need you to help me beg him. I mean, maybe he'll listen to you. Maybe he'll consider. I want to have this baby. I really want to do it. But look, I don't want to do it alone. I need his consent. Look, if, if Missy doesn't need some cajoling or some convincing, he needs a knock on his head. How selfish can he be? Look, if that's what you want to, me to talk to him, then I'll talk some sense into his head. Thank you. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay? Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I. I mean, we should get someone to drink, right? <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> um. Maybe, um, can I see you for a minute? Just sure. Thank you. Alright, I, I... I met with Frida. You did? Yeah, I did. And apparently she wanted me to, you know, plead with you so you can... I'll have keep the baby. Goodness, that's again? What do you mean, that again? He said, look, this woman is your wife. She's the only reason why you're somebody today. But you've constantly put her through trauma. And telling her to kill all her kids. Now listen, we had an agreement, okay? An agreement is an agreement. We're still young. We need to have fun. Live our lives. I don't want some spoiler coming to tell us to have a kid or how to live our lives or, or how I should make love to my wife. Are you even listening to yourself, Mizie? You're obviously too selfish. This woman, your wife, is not getting any younger. Besides, if you don't want to have kids, you can use a condom. Now hold it right there. I think I've listened to this conversation a little too long, okay? Do you have an idea what I go through? Do you? I don't want a baby and then she forces a total stranger on us, bringing her into our home. If she wants the baby, she can keep it, but she wish she didn't. And what is that supposed to mean? That is between me and my wife. Alright, so. I guess that's my cue to leave. <sighs> so, how has marriage been for you? Oh. Wonderful. Mm. Yes, my marriage has been everything I desired and more. I mean, my husband is such an amazing person. He's He's so good, he's so sweet, he's such, he's such a darling, I don't know, he's, I can't explain this feeling you, you have when you're married to a good man. I mean, like, I can almost tell because you're blushing all over. <laughs> he must be jumping for joy with the baby coming. Oh, oh yes, he is. Of course he is. I, I, I mean, this baby right here. When she's born, she will be the princess and the empress of Obia Jilu Empire. I mean, she'll keep me all the... <laughs> Bella? Lola? Hmm. Are you okay? I'm sorry, my, my, my apologies. I'm so sorry. I was... It's lost in thoughts, you yeah. know. Just imagining, you know. More like wondering. About? If I have, if I have a family somewhere. Maybe a husband. Oh, no. I know, I know. In due time, it will all come back. I know. Yes. But you have to be patient. I promise you. That even if you're married, I believe that your husband will be as sweet as mine. Okay? I, 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 I hope so. <laughs> Talking about the baby. Mm -hmm. Hey, Oh my God, what's up? What's up? Good to see you. Honey, so that you need to get into the car. Let's go. Honey, please, one minute. 
Get inside the car now. What kind of a man are you? How many minutes is it going to take for her to say hello to me before leaving? Huh? You don't want me in your house, right? Fine. But you are way too small. Tiny to break our friendship. Listen, if you don't get into the car now, I will leave you behind, okay? <laughs> Come to think of it. It's only a man that has an ulterior motive like you that will shield his wife from seeing her friends and family. What, what, did you say? what, what, what is that supposed to mean? Just stop it. No, 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 Freda, let me. Let me talk to this millionaire opportunist driver husband of yours. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm not taking this anymore. I'll, I'll talk to you later, please. This, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Honey, I am so sorry. I mean, do you know how Melissa is and the way she talks? Please, forgive her. Forgive me as well. Because of you, your friend spoke to me. Anyhow, insulted me and disrespected me in that manner. All I ask for you to do is just stay away from her, but that's just too much, right? I know. You said she should stop coming to the house. She has stopped. But you can't just ask me to stop talking to her entirely. I mean... I can't just see her on the road and ignore her. Like, don't talk to her at all when she hasn't done anything wrong to me. Oh, really? Yes. You know, one of these things you're going to have to choose between me or you're going to have to pick. Let this happen. Babe? Babe?
Christ. Where have you been? What is that supposed to mean? I have been looking all over for you. I was in the bathroom. You mean the same bathroom I checked? Are you serious right now? Maybe you were sleepwalking, who knows? Go to bed and sleep. Um, do you need some? Oh, you know what? Let me quickly get you wine. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need to move a huge amount, and I was told you could help. Yes. Um, I'll be leaving the country, say, in about two weeks max. I'm heading to Mexico. No, I'll be going alone. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, you, uh, oh my, I thought you went to the salon. Uh, yes, I, I, I was actually, but, uh, my head started pounding, so I just, I changed my head. And okay, yeah. Um, how long have you been here for? I just came out of my room, why? Nothing, just, just ask it. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, but Sifo, what was it that was so important um, that you had to bring me out? Um, Ma, please, I, I don't want you taking this the wrong way. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing, but I think something is happening with the company. I think you need to know. What? What is it? Ma, it's about your husband. Ma, for the past two weeks now, your husband has been moving money from the company's account to a strange account. I'm talking millions, Ma. 
in I, I think you should know about it. Um if my husband has been moving money from the company account, then I don't think that is something to worry about because he's my husband. My money is his money. I mean, you can't possibly steal from yourself, can you? Good. So when I say that he must have a very good reason for doing that, I mean it. But, but, but my, I, oh, Sifo, thank you so much for looking out for me and for watching my back. But he, when it concerns my husband, I am sure he is doing the right thing and he must have a very good reason for doing so. Um, but but my, I, I, I just, I, I, I think, I, I think you should drop it. I mean it. Yes, ma'am. So if that is all, then thank you. Thank you, ma'am. How long is this starvation going to last? It's been over a month. You walk around acting as if I don't need you. Do you know how much I need you? I told you. As long as you decided to keep that thing, I will not have anything to do with you sexually. And what is the meaning of that? You have a head. Use it. I knew there was something doubtful about that guy. But like the trusting person Frida is, she has refused to read in between the lines. The most painful aspect of all this is, the company is suffering from just huge transfers and she sees nothing wrong with it. I don't get it. Not to worry. I think I've stayed out for too long. It's time to get fully back into my friend's life and flush that trash away. Thanks for the information, my dear. Okay. I'll speak to Frida about it. All right. Okay, let me run along now. Okay. I'm supposed to see Frida today, so let me go okay. see her. I'm going to see you later. Yeah, All awesome. Right. Okay. You take care. Yeah, bye. I'm very serious. Since you met this guy, you don't seem to find anything wrong in what he does. And he's clearly taking advantage of your stupidity to defraud you. Melissa, my husband is not a fraud. Stop calling him that. <laughs> you can believe whatever you want to. But he will forever remain a froster to me. Andrew, the earlier you open those eyes of yours, the better for you. He knows you love him so much. And that is why he succeeded in chasing everyone away from you. Just so he can collect whatever he wants from you. What's the meaning of this? What right do you have to walk into my house and talk about my family like this? Huh? Melissa? Oh, I see. Because you don't have a husband of your own, you suddenly want to break my marriage so I can go back to being single. Frustration that is... That, that frustration will kill you. Yes! What is it? 
You call my husband names. He's a fraudster. He's a criminal. He's this. He's that. Are you freaking kidding me? You know what? If you value this friendship we ever shared, get yourself up from my couch and get out of my house. And let it be the last time you ever talk down on my husband or my marriage. No, you don't did you not. dare interfere. Yes, I did. Did you just say that to me? Oh, I will say worse things if you don't get up right now. Get up! And get out. Did you just say that to me? Yes, you need a husband. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> um, so did you attend the meeting? Yes, I did. And it was beautiful. It went well. Mm. Melissa was here. Melissa. And you let that woman into our house. What did she want this time? Well... She came to tell me that um, Miss Osifo gave her information that she'd be moving money from the company account into a private account. Actually, a lot of money, which makes her think you've been defrauding me. Yeah. Miss Osifo told her that? Not just her. She told me as well. So what did you say to her? Well, I told them that you're my husband and that you can never defraud me. If you've been moving money from the company account, you must have a very good reason for that. Of course. More so, I told her to mind her business and stay out of my family affairs. 
good. But you see what I've, I've always told you. That girl does not have your best interest at heart. She's just after us. I, I don't get it. She just wants to mess things up for us and come in between us. It doesn't make any sense. It's okay, honey. I've already put her in her place. And as for Miss Osifo, I will not tolerate such insubordination. No, I will not. No, no, baby. It's not. It's, it's okay. It's not necessary. I already sorted it out. I'm very sure they will never ever in their life come up with such ridiculous accusations ever again. Hmm? Let me quickly fix something for you to eat. I'm sure you're tired. All right, babe. You know, I do not understand when a cheap office clerk will not mind your business, you know, earn your salary and just, you know, enjoy it. But instead, they will rather meddle into affairs that do not concern them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Osifo Edosa, you're fired and you have 10 minutes to leave this party. Hey. hey, bro. Hey. Um, I just saw Sifo claiming her decks. What, what happened? I don't like her face. It, it upsets me, so she had to go. Go, go, like you fired her? Yes, I did. Do you have a problem with that? Fizzy, come on. She's one of the best accountants we have in this company. And besides, she's been here all her life. By the way, do you, do you know how difficult it can be for one to get a new job in this country? Mm. Like you said, she's always the best, so getting a new job won't be suitable. Is that what you're going to say? Hold back. I'm coming. Osifo! Osifo! Hey, hold on. Um, I just got off um, the MD's office and quite frankly, I don't know what is happening. Why did they fire you? So it's fine. I think I know better now. I'm good. I'm oh, 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 come on. You know he can't just do that to you like that. Okay? Look, if you want this your job back, you can talk to me about it. I can relate to him and you know, find out something to do about it. And besides, you know how difficult it is to get a job in this country these days. So I actually thought I was doing the right thing, talking to her about what the MD is doing behind our back. Here we are. Okay, I, 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 I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, listen. The MD okay. has been transferring a huge amount of money from the company's account to a strange account. I spoke to Madame about it, and she just said it's fine. Like, it's cool. Hold, hold on. No problem. Hold on, hold on. Are, are, are you sure what you're saying? That Ms. is transferring money from the company's account to another account? Do I look like I'm joking? Huh? How much? Close to a billion naira. Jesus Christ, man! Who would he do with such amount of money? So what did his wife say? The wife said he has pretty good reasons to transfer such huge amount of money from the company's account to a strange account. Oh no, no, it's, it's fine. He must have pretty good reasons why he did that. Okay, this is very serious. This is... This is serious. 
You know what? Um, you know, just just go. I'll, I'll have a word with him, and I'm sure we can sort out this whole misunderstanding. Okay, we we can do this. All right. It's okay. It's fine. All right. Uh, just take it easy. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Almost a billion. Um, I, I was talking to C4 um, and... Who is the C4? The accountant. Point of correction, ex-accountant. You do not have any business with her again, okay? Okay, um, I, I want to know, I, I, have you been transferring money from the company's account to another account? I need you to remind me something. Whose company is this again? Your wife's company. Good. That's good. Meaning? Meaning it's my wife's company, it's her money, and uh, since I'm a husband, you know, the money in the company belongs to me, so you do a question or ask me what I do with my money. Okay, but um, does Frida know about this? Has she complained to you? No, no, no. You know what, I'm, I'm sorry I asked about it, I, I'm sorry. Um, one more thing, you You need to stop speaking to me. Also, you need to stop meddling into affairs that do not concern you. Else, you might find yourself in a All right, um. I'll keep that in mind, boss. of this now? Why did you push her like that? Don't you know you could have injured her? Get violent with her? I don't like this. How can you be violent towards a woman? What is wrong with you? I'm not liking your attitude towards her at all. I don't like it. My darling, I am so sorry. Please, please, just, just. Please. I know he doesn't like me. I know he hates seeing me around the house, but what am I going to do? I, I, I can't wait to get my memory back so I can go back to my life. I know my family will treat me like this. I was just trying to be nice. Missy, let me tell you something. I know you don't like this lady, but at least you give her some respect because she's a woman. What is wrong with you? And he was busy reading the Bible. Do you even know God? My dear, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, please. I'm sure he was in a bad mood. I'm sure he didn't mean all those things to you. I'm so sorry. It's okay, my so sorry. Sorry. Oh my God. I... Uh, maybe you should go out or you want to sit down? You can come into this room wherever you like. Okay? Sorry.
What sort of nonsense was that stunt? You trying to set me up? You trying to ruin everything I planned with your foolishness? Last time you ever tried shit like that. If you dare me. From the look of things, I I feel that Maisie does not have good intentions for, 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 for Frida. And it's giving me cause for concern. Indeed. And that is why I agreed to meet with you. Listen, maybe if you come with me, Frida will see reason and understand. But what I don't understand is his motive, is his intentions for doing this. Because right in front of me, Frida practically made him something out of nothing. And this is the thanks she gets. Mm. Exactly. But tell you what, Frida has been blinded by love. What kind of love is that? And that is digging her own grave. You oh, see, you see, there's something about this guy that I can't really place a finger on this. Oh. And Missy is a friend of mine, but I want to allow him to toy with a good woman. He has showed me selfish side of it, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever it takes. To make sure I protect her. I mean, he cannot destroy her. I don't want my watch. As it should be. Oh. Hello? What's it for? Oh, yes, I'm, I can talk where I am. Are you serious? You have them already? Oh. Okay, my, my mailbox. Okay, okay, all right, cool. I, I'll, I'll check it right now and I'll call you back. Yes, I'll, I'll call you back. All right. What's up? She just sent me a um, transaction by me. Is it to order foreign banks? Really? Yes. Send me my box right now. Let me see. Whoa. This is high class money laundry. Oh my god. This is wonderful news. Please, let's just go deal with this right away. Oh. Let's go. Come with me. Wait, I have wait, a plan. Wait, 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 come. come with me, please. Oh my god. Hi, doctor. This is Mrs. Freda Obiajulu. I have a DNC schedule to take place today. I want to find out if it's still happening. All right, I'll be on my way then.
Don't you dare talk to me. Don't you dare talk to me about anything. Don't you dare talk to me about anything. It was not a setup. She, she took advantage of me. Which of it was a setup? Because I know exactly what I saw. <laughs> I know exactly what I saw. I've been telling you this thing. She came into that house. She, she, she's wicked. She's evil. She, She's just out to destroy our marriage. Point of correction. Chimizi Ubiajuru. I am here to take back my husband. And my marriage. Will you shut up? I told you. She's pure evil. Enough! Enough of this charade! Chimizi, the game is over. You need to tell her the truth. What truth? What is she talking about? This man is my husband. What? what? Yes. What is no? She means he's done. Game over. So do you want to tell her or do you want me to help you? Fine. Chimezie and I got married. Yes. He married me first. And we had a beautiful daughter. She was born with a hole in her heart. She needed surgery. But we did we didn't have we didn't have enough for the surgery at the time because it was it was a mere driver driving you and so we decided to come up with a plan to save our daughter. Welcome. Right, dear. Um, what did the doctor say? He said that um, that we need to do the surgery sooner and we expected that her dad is getting weaker by the day. And these people just make demands, like we have some money stashed somewhere. It's not fair. Said we should, we should make a deposit of three million, so they can, they, they can at least start the, the surgery, because her, the hole in her heart is mixed. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Where in the world am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Where? As if that was not enough. I came back. Shortly after I got back, the landlord came. And he started screaming and yelling, saying that we'll be, we'll be owing him for almost two years, that we should pay. I didn't know what to do. I just had to tell him that you would see him when you, when you go back. Or maybe over the weekend. And... Um... How long did the doctor say that I had the surgery? He did say. He just said whatever it is we're doing, we should be fast about it. Dad, 
said that her blood is already like a the supply of oxygen. <laughs> Good night, ma. Hi, Missy. Yeah, you see, please, please don't go. You know I'm not feeling too well, and I'm alone in the house. I don't think you should go. I mean, just stay, okay? No, but you, you can go if you, if you have a family to go back to, or maybe a girlfriend that is coming. <laughs> no, ma, um, nothing important to go back home to. Okay, just stay, eh? Yeah? Go to the kitchen and make something to eat. Okay. And then, um, please help me get malaria drugs. My whole mouth is bitter. I feel so feverish. Okay, ma. I, I will, ma. Easy, ma. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, I'm closing late today, so I'll be staying over at my madam's to help out with some things. Oh, okay. And please make sure you take care of Ada, okay? I hope she's doing well. All right. All right. Good night.
I have a plan. What's the plan? <clears throat> you know, babe, I, I think my madam is starting to like me. Ever since that day that she asked me to stay over at her place, she's been acting funny, you know, somehow. She even gave me a spec here and asked me to come to the house whenever I want. Hmm. Hmm. And so, where is this heading? So I'm thinking, eh, with your permission, or if you agree and if you let it, hmm. if you give the go ahead that you just have something to do with her, then you know, the long run, just ask her to marry me. For long magic. She needs you. Ha! No, 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 no. Are you serious? Ha! So you want to now follow her because she has money, I think? No, no. Eh, she needs you. Wait, hear me out first now. Calm down. Black, calm down. Hear me out. I'm listening. Just, I'm saying. I just have something small to do with her then marry her then I will be able to you know get some money from her sent to you so we can solve her that's probably take care of her that really good then get some more money money enough to you know last us for a lifetime to live a better life a better life then we just leave this place go somewhere and just just be happy for the rest of our lives I'm tired of suffering. You know, tired of all this. Hmm. My husband. Chimisi, so you thought about all this. In your thinking, did you also think that this woman is so foolish? Foolish to the point where she's going to buy this? Do you think she's going to fall for this? Wait now, wait, do you see? It's a foolproof plan. It will work. Trust me. She won't see it coming. All I just need is your approval. I just need you to agree to it. And everything is done. Before you know it, we'll be living well. She may say, no, 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 no. No. She may say, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Uh -uh. This is something they will show. We watch this thing in, 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 in Nigerian films all the time. How this kind of thing happens. Then the man will now go. You now forget. You now fall in love. Then you forget your family. Wait, 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 she means, wait, wait, yeah, I don't wait, want. Wait, I don't. No, 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 I don't me. like it. I know. Just, I love you. That will never change. You know this. I just. That is her everything, and you know, I wouldn't live without her. No, I can't. I'm doing this for the both of you. We need a better life. I'm, I'm tired of seeing you suffer. I'm tired of seeing her that suffer. I, I know this is, I know this is the lowest of points to get to, but please. Mm. All I need is your approval, and we will make this work. Okay, I need you on this. <laughs> Don't cry. I'm tired of seeing you cry out so
here. Her plan is working. She has agreed to marry me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm scared of this plan. Well, what if something goes wrong? Mm -hmm. eh? You have to promise me that you will not forget what is most important. Oh, come on. I have this too. It's most important to me. It is more important to me. Hmm? So are you still a driver? For now, but um, when we get married, she's going to make me the manager of the company. So, yes, that will make the plan a lot more easier to achieve. Can I see? I, I hope you shall know what you are doing. You, you cannot, you cannot get her pregnant because if you do, she will tie you down. She will tie you down with that baby. No, I know I won't. Never mind. Okay. Doctor, how, how is she? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. We need to take it easy. We, we, we try our best, just beyond our control. There's nothing we could do. There's nothing. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Kanda. We're a strong woman. Please come in. Don't even try it. Don't! I have always told you that there is something fishy about this guy. But no! You wouldn't listen. Now you have all the proof you need to be convinced. And just so you know, Mr. Mille, I just got the confirmation about your international transactions to Mexico. <sighs> the banks and the figures. <laughs> How could you, Mille? This game is over. Officers! <laughs> Mr. Chimeze, Obedro, you are under arrest for fraud and money laundry. Officer, take him away. Arrest him. And have you. Yes. Sorry, huh? And you. 
Join him. Ah, uh, but I helped you. Take him away. Take him. Okay, let me at least wait. Let me change now. You should take him away. Move it. Move it. Move it. But I helped you. Take him away. Move it. Move it. Move it. Frida. But I helped you. 